Hi everyone, welcome to Finance MD. My name is Sarayda Rosanes. I'm one of the Executive Vice Chairman of IMG, or International Marketing Group. By profession, I'm a medical doctor. So sa hospital, sa clinic, I do medical checkup. But as one of the financial educators of IMG, I do financial checkup. And together with my husband, Jason, we share the financial literacy advocacy of IMG. And for this coaching session, I'm going to share to you about mutual funds. So a lot of people are asking, saan ba ako pwedeng mag-save or mag-invest to achieve my financial goals? Before I give you the details about mutual fund, let me first share to you how to build a solid financial foundation. Like building a house, kailangan matibal po yung pundasyon natin para pag nagkaroon ng lindol, bagyo, baha, hindi naman agad masisira yung bahay natin. Ganon din po sa finances. You must build a solid financial foundation para pag nagkaroon ng financial emergency or financial calamity, hindi naman po agad masisira ang financial house natin. This is a picture of a strong financial foundation. On top is your investment, like stock market, mutual funds. Those are examples of investment. But you have to protect your investment by creating an emergency fund. Emergency fund po is at least three to six months of your expenses. Dapat po nakaset aside ito para pag nagkaroon ng financial emergency, ito po ang gagamitin natin. Halimbawa po ng financial emergency, let's say nawalan ka po ng trabaho. Kung wala ka pong trabaho, saan ka kukuha ng panggastos? If you're going to pull out your investment, hindi po mag-grow ang investment natin if we are always going to put and take, put and take. So dapat meron po tayong emergency fund. Next is eliminate debt. Debt is like a termite that is eating your financial house. Kakainin po ng interest ng utang ang interest ng investment mo. And life insurance and healthcare fund are the real foundation in building wealth. Life insurance is to replace the income of the breadwinner just in case he passed away too soon. Dapat insured po yung breadwinner para kung may mangyari sa kanya, tuloy pa rin po yung buhay ng family. And then, healthcare fund, one of the financial products people need to own. They just don't understand it unless ano po, may magkasakit na sa pamilya or nasa hospital na sila. Magastos po magkasakit. Kaya dapat meron tayong healthcare fund. And you have to increase your cash flow to fund all of your goals. Ang cash flow po ay ang perang pumapasok at lumalabas sa isang pamilya. Income minus expenses. Kung maliit po or kung negative po yung cash flow, mahihirapan po tayong mag-ipon. So you need to increase your cash flow by two things. Una, earn additional income. And second is manage your expenses. Nowadays, yung income natin from our first job is usually just enough to pay for the bills. If you want to save and invest, you need additional sources of income. And budgeting, importante din po yun. Dapat bago mo matanggap yung pera mo, alam mo na kung saan mo siya dadalhin. You need to increase your cash flow to fund all of your goals. And like building a house, you must build it from the ground up. Now, ang tanong ko naman po, bakit pa kailangang i-invest yung pera na yan? Ba't hindi ko na lang ito gastusin? Ano? Siyempre, ikaw naman yung kumita, eh di gastusin ko na lang to. Why do we need to invest your money? Una, to beat inflation. Inflation is the buying power of our peso. Yung 100 pesos ko ngayon, 5 years from now, 10 years from now, iba na po yung value. Hindi ko na po mabibili kung ano yung nabibili ko sa ngayon. And for example, yung pera mo nakalagay po sa 1% interest rate. Pero ang inflation po is 3%, lugi ka po ng 2% negative. Second is to achieve your financial goals. Siyempre marami po tayong pangarap. Pero hindi po lahat ng pangarap natin ay ngayon na natin matutupad or available po yung funds ngayon na. Kailangan po natin mag-invest to achieve our financial goals. Now, may challenges pa sa pag-iipon. Meron po. Ang unang-una po dyan is yung discipline. Siyempre, ano po bang mas masarap? Gumastos o mag-ipon? Sabi nga, ang mga Filipino hindi na kailangan turuan gumastos. Ano, magaling tayo doon. Pero kailangan po turuan mag-invest. So, both spending and saving is a habit. Ano bang habit ang dinedevelop mo? You need to develop a saving habit. And second is, getting the instrument that will help you achieve your real goals. Financial independence is like a journey. And in every journey, it's very crucial that you should find the right vehicle that will take you to your destination. Halimbawa po, nasa Maynila ako, pupunta ako ng Quezon City, sasakay ba ako ng aeroplano? Is it the right vehicle? O kaya naman po, nasa Manila ako, pupunta ako ng Baguio, maglalakad ba ako? Nasa Manila ako, pupunta ako ng Hong Kong, sasakay ba ako sa bisikleta? Dapat magmatch po ang investment vehicle mo to your goals. 
So what are your goals? Siyempre, gusto po natin ng retirement fund, education fund, house and lot, car, health care for our family, parents' retirement. You want to give or donate to church or charity. Ang question is, do you think you can achieve all of your goals? Tingnan natin ang iyong saving habit. Ngayon ba na nag-iipon ka, parati bang busog ang iyong piggy bank, malusog? Or ganito, malnourished? Alin po dyan ang iyong saving habit? So, nahihirapan po tayong mag-ipon because we don't know bakit ba tayo nag-iipon at para saan ba yung iniipon at ano ba yung tamang paraan ng pag-iipon. I'm going to share to you the financial prosperity formula I learned from Brother Bo Sanchez. The financial prosperity formula states that out of your income, 100% yung income mo, 10% tithes, give back to the Lord, sa kanya naman lahat galing yung blessings, 20% yung savings, and then manage yourself sa 70%. Paano yan do? Kung magsisave ako ng 20%, di na ako kakain. Ano? Ang importante po dito, magsimula ka. Start at your comfortable level. Let's say, best effort mo, kaya mo lang isave this payday ay 100 pesos, do it. Ano? Next payday, 200, 300, until you reach your 20%. And now, sa ko naman ilalagay yung aking ipon? Where is your money today? Is it in the top banks in the Philippines? Kailangan po ma-realize natin na magkaiba po ang saving at magkaiba po ang investment. I'm not against bank. Bank is good for business transaction, for safekeeping. But if your idea is for your money to grow, it's hard to happen in a bank. Why? You should understand the rule of 72 or the power of compound interest. Sabi po ni Albert Einstein, it's the eighth wonder of the world. It's mankind's greatest invention. Ito po daw yung secret ng banking and lending industry in amassing of wealth. So the formula is 72 divided by the interest rate that will give you the number of years for your money to double. Again, the formula is 72 divided by the interest rate that will give you the number of years for your money to double. Let's say, for example, nag-open ako ng regular savings account, 10,000 pesos. With a rate of 1%, kailan po siya magiging 20,000 or kailan do double? Let's use the formula. 72 divided by 1% is equal to 72 years. So, ibig sabihin po, kung 30 years old ako ngayon, plus 72, pagdating ko po ng 102 years old, yahuya, hey, meron na akong 20,000. So, napakabagal. Again, bank purpose is for safekeeping. More of rule of 72, if you, you are going to put your money at 4%, it will double every 18 years. So 29 years old, may 100,000. Every 18 years, nagda-double. When you reach 65, you have 400,000. If you put your money at 8%, it will double every 9 years. So 29 years old, may 100,000. Every 9 years, nagda-double. When you reach 65, that's 1.6 million. If you put your money at 12% naman, it will double every 6 years. So, 29 years old, may 100,000. Every 6 years, nagda-double yung pera mo. Pagdating mo ng 65, 6.4 million. Question, pare-pareho po itong 29 years old, pare-parehong may 100,000. Pero bakit ito? Pagdating niya ng 65, 400,000 lang. The next one is 1.6 and the other one is 6.4. What's the difference? The interest rate. Of course, kung mas mataas po yung interest rate, mas mabilis magdadoble yung pera natin. This is the secret of the wealthy people. Hindi ibig sabihin, mas malaki po yung pera nilagay nila. It only means they know where to place their money. But be very careful. Hindi po pe, ibig sabihin, nagbigay ng mataas na interest, yun na agad ang paglalagay mo ng pera mo. You have to really know that if that investment vehicle is legal, di ba po? So, example, may nagsabi sa'yo, lagay mo yung pera mo dito, after three weeks, doble na. So, ikaw naman, sinubukan mo yung 1,000 kasi wala namang mawawala, ano, 1,000 lang naman. After three weeks, binigyan ka niya ng 2,000. Siyempre, yung 1,000, madaling gawing 2,000. So, tumaas na yung belief mo, ano naman yung gagawin mo? Siguro maglagay ako ng 10,000, tingnan ko, after 21 days, kung magiging 20,000. So, ganun nga yung nangyari, binigay mo yung 10,000, after 21 days, naging 20,000. Ano na yung maiisip ng isang Pilipino ngayon? Kung meron akong 1 million na ibibigay sa kanya, after 3 weeks, magiging 2 million. So, anong gagawin po ni Juan de la Cruz? Ibibenta yung lupa, ibibenta yung kotse, yung iba, mag mangungutang pa, kahit, mang kahit mangutang yun sa 5, 6. Kasi ang iniisip niya, mas malaki naman yung kikitain ng pera niya. Kapag binigay mo sa isang tao yung pera mo, what are you expecting after 21 days? 
sigurado bang magkikita kayo? So, it's very hard. So, kailangan po, bago natin bitawan yung hard-earned money, na iintindihan natin kung saan dadalahin yung pera natin. And rule of 72 is one of the financial concepts na dapat pong maintindihan para hindi ka ma-victimize ng scam and wrong investment. Next is, so saan ba ako pwede mag-invest na pwedeng kumita ng, 12, ng 4%, 8%, 12%, or higher? Pwede po tayo mag-invest sa mga companies na ito. You call this the publicly enlisted companies. For example, gusto mo bang maging, um, halimbawa, Jollibee, gusto mo bang mag-invest sa Jollibee? Siyempre naman, ano? Just imagine kung ikaw ay, let's say, nasa Maynila, Tanghaling tapat, gutom na gutom ka na, uhaw na uhaw ka, pumasok ka sa isang Jollibee store. Kaso pagpunta mo doon, ang haba ng pila, how would you feel? Di ba malungkot ka kasi gutom ka na, pagod ka na, di ba nauuhaw ka na, ang haba pa ng pila. Pero kung ikaw ay shareholder ng Jollibee, how would you feel? Masaya ka, di ba kahit mahaba yung pila, maraming tao doon, okay na okay yun sa'yo. So paano ba ako makaka-invest sa mga company nito? Halimbawa yung Jollibee nga po, kung gusto ko mag-franchise ng Jollibee, kailangan ko ng at least mga 40 to 50 million. Napakalaking halaga. Wala ako nun. Ano ba yung second option ko? Pwede naman ako mag-invest sa stock market. Direct trading. Pero kailangan mo at least 5 to 10,000 para maka-open ang account. At syempre, kailangan mo rin ng expertise and time to navigate sa stock market. E paano kung wala ka nun? Hindi ka na ba pwede mag-invest? Pwede po, yung pangatong option ay pwede kang mag-invest sa mutual funds. Sa mutual funds po, as the as 1,000, you could already invest in mutual funds at nakadiversify na yung iyong pera. So, ano ba talaga yung mutual fund? Ang mutual fund po is an investment companies that combines money from individuals. So, halimbawa ako po, maglalagay ako ng 1,000, meron pong tao na naglagay ng 5,000, 10,000, meron pong company na nag-invest ng, let's say, 100,000 and 1 million, pinagsasama-sama po yun. At bawat tao po or bawat investor is a shareholder noong pong mutual fund. Each share represents a proportion of the ownership In the fund asset, so lahat po tayo ay owner, part owner. Because hundreds of its shareholders have chosen to pull their money in a given mutual fund, the fund can easily diversify its investment among the stocks and bonds of many companies. So, ibig sabihin po, magkakasama yung pera natin sa mutual fund. Si fund manager, siya yung bibili kay San Miguel, Meralco, PLDP, Ayala, SM, Jollibee, or McDonald's. Ito po yung illustration ng mutual fund. So, ito po tayo as mga investor, yung pera po natin, pinupul dito sa mutual fund company. And yung mutual fund company, meron pong fund manager, siya po yung nag in charge sa fund. Uh, this is the mutual fund structure. We, the shareholders, elect board of directors. The board of directors are in charge of overseeing the fund. Um, they make sure that the mutual fund company is compliant with all the government requirements. The investment advisor directs the trading and manages the portfolio. While the fund administrator this is in charge of the uh, paperwork. So sa kanila po yung bookkeeping, accounting. The distributor are in charge of marketing. The custodian bank protects the fund from theft and fraud and the transfer agent records the ownership of share. And the external auditor makes sure that the mutual fund company is exerting all efforts and measures to make sure that the fund is safe and secure. These are the types of mutual fund. We have four, bond fund, money market, stock fund, and balance fund. When you say bond fund, it's a fixed income instrument. Ito po yung nilalagay sa mga treasury bills, treasury notes. Objective is stability plus reasonable growth. Average earning is around 6%. Money market naman po, money market is short-term fixed income instrument. Pareho po sila ng bond fund na nasa mga government securities din, but shorter po yung kanyang time frame, usually less than one year. Stability plus minimal growth on the average, since short-term po ito, nasa 2% ang average earning. Stock fund, ito po yung mga nasa publicly enlisted company. Katulad po na nabanggit ko kayo na Jollibee, Macto, ABS, GMA, etc. Long-term capital growth. So, ang average earning niya is 18%. Dapat ang ilalagay po natin sa stock fund ay long-term ang perspective. Well, balance fund, meron po siyang stock and fixed income component. So, medium to long-term for moderate investors. Umaabot naman po ng 12% ang average earning. Benefits in investing in mutual fund. Ano ba yung advantage? Una, affordability. As I've said earlier, with as low as 1,000, 
pwede na po tayo mag-invest sa mutual funds. And minimum additional is 500 pesos. Second, diversification. So, automatic pag mutual fund po yung invest natin, nakadiversify na po or iba-iba na po yung investment portfolio. Kung 1,000 lang po yung pera natin sa stock market, mahirap po mag-diversify. Halimbawa, you want to buy PLDT share, sa presyo ngayon ng PLDT, baka isang share lang yung mabibili mo. Next is tax exemption. Kapag kumita po tayo sa mutual fund, exempted na po yung sa tax. So, for example, kumita ka ng 12%, 12% po yung earnings mo. Wala na pong tax on. Professional fund management. So, this is one very important advantage. So, for example, masakit yung ulo mo, syempre pupunta ka sa doktor. Masakit yung ipin mo, pupunta ka sa dentist. Nasira yung computer mo, syempre pupunta ka sa computer shop. Ganon din po sa fund. So, mahirap naman po kung ang magmamanage ng fund mo ay walang expertise. Kumbaga, ito na talaga yung trabaho ng fund manager. Number five is convenience. So, no-brainer. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-isip. Ano ba yung bibilihin ko? ABS or GMA, Jollibee or Macdo? And kailangan din po syempre ng time. Trading is at 9.30 to 3.30. Pero syempre, kung tayo po ay nagtatrabaho or busy or nasa ibang bansa tayo, iba yung time frame, mahihirapan po tayo mag-invest. So, but with mutual funds, lagay lang po tayo ng lagay ng pera. Number six is liquidity. Ang pera po sa mutual fund ay highly liquid. Pwede mo po siyang kunin anytime. So, meron lang po tayong, let's say, three to five banking days of processing. Generally safe ang mutual fund because of strict regulation and required disclosure. So, how do mutual fund works? Ang mutual fund po, iba-iba ang senaryo. Pwede pong senaryo one, pataas. Pwede naman pong scenario 2, bumaba, naka-recover naman. Or pwedeng scenario 3, bumaba, hindi na naka-recover or hindi pa nakaka-recover. Kung ikaw yung mag invest saan mo ilalagay yung pera mo? Sa scenario 1, 2, or 3? Siyempre, mas gusto mo sigurado, ano, doon sa siguradong pataas. Para actually po, with this 3 scenario, lahat po yan kumita. Ang pinakamalaking kinita actually po is scenario number 3. Kasi bagsak po yung market. So pag bagsak yung market, anong ibig sabihin? Sale po or mura ang shares, kaya mas marami tayong mabibili. But anyway, kahit ano po yung scenario ng market, whether the market is up or down, if you know what to do, then definitely you will win. Mahirap po na mag-iipon o mag-i-invest tayo without the proper knowledge. Kasi for example, wala tayong proper knowledge. You know? Nag-invest ka, Bumagsak yung market. So, anong may isip mo? Naku, talo ako, i-withdraw ko na. So, kapag ka po, ganun ang ginawa mo, talagang talo ka na. No? But there's such thing as paper loss. Talo ka lang sa papel, ma hindi siya ma-actualize kung hindi mo siya kukunin. At ang movement po ng stock market is just up and down, up and down. So, kung down siya ngayon, then definitely it will go up. And importante din po talaga yung emergency fund. So, just in case, down yung market, wala kang emergency fund, may nagkasakit sa pamilya, what are you going to do? You're going to pull out your investment. So, matatalo ka na talaga. But look at this picture. This is one of the historical performance of one of our providers, Phil Equity. Phil Equity started in 1995, a little over 1 peso. But as of July 2019, nasa 39.9 po, nasa 39.91 per share po ang value. Kung titignan niyo po yung blue line, di ba po may tataas, may bababa, pero ang trend niya pataas pa rin. Hindi na po siya babalik doon sa original na 1 peso per share. So kung titingnan po natin for more than 24 years, nasa 3,498% po ang actual return. So to illustrate po, for example, nag-invest ka ng 5,000 noong 1995, kahit hindi mo siya dinagdagan, ang value niya po as of July 2019, 179,882. So that is the historical performance. Who can invest? First is, of course, you should be a Filipino citizen. Next is, you should be 18 years old and up. Kapag ka po minors, pwede pa rin po makapag-invest through ITF or in trust for. Ibig sabihin, dapat meron pong primary investor na adult. Dapat po merong TIN and SSS number, meron din pong valid government issued ID and as a valid Philippine bank account. Now, paano naman po kayo matutulungan ng IMG? Ang IMG po is a one-stop shop. So, if you're a member of IMG, iba-iba pong financial industry. Meron pong healthcare, life insurance, investment, real estate, general insurance, and other financial services. Ano po yung mga providers natin sa investment? So, nakita po natin, Soldivo, Phil Equity, 
Philam, Atram, at Sun Life. Ano po yung difference? Kasi pwede ko naman yan makuha or makita sa internet. Isa po sa benefit na pagiging IMG member is of course, una yung free investment seminars. You cannot get everything in one sitting. If you really want to understand, kailangan talaga po mag-attend na mag-attend ng mga trainings. At isa pa pong advantage, zero entry fee po tayo sa mutual fund. Para maka-invest po tayo sa mutual fund, meron pong tinatawag na entry fee. Iba-iba pong mutual fund company, iba-iba po ang entry fee. Nagre-range po ng 1 to 5%. To illustrate, halimbawa mag invest ako ng 10,000, tatanggalin po yung 3.5% or 350 pesos. Ang total money po na may invest is 9,650. Pero pag IMG member po ako, zero load or zero entry fee. So ang ibig sabihin po, yung 10,000 pesos na pera ko ay mai-invest po lahat. So these are the top mutual funds in the Philippines in 2019. If you will notice, most of the top performers in the Philippine mutual funds are under the umbrella of IMG. IMG does not sell mutual funds, but we are going to give you access. Meron po tayong business development officer. Um, meron po tayong business development officers and partners para po ma-assist kayo if you want to invest in mutual funds. At this point, everybody should know that there are three financial stages in life. Una, man at work. So tayo po, ikaw, lahat tayo naghahanap buhay. Ano, either you have a job, you have a business, we make money, of course, to put food on the table, to send our kids to good school. Pinakamalaking responsibility mo ngayon ay kumita ng pera. Pero dapat habang nagtatrabaho ka, makamove ka sa next stage. Ano po yon? Man and money at work. Money needs time to grow. Kaya habang naghahanap buhay ka, habang kumikita ka, habang malakas ka pa, habang bata ka pa, dapat mag-ipon ka. Kumbaga, sabi nga po, Make money as much as you can while you can, but you have to invest money as fast as you can while you can. Kailangan po natin mag-ipon because a lot of uncertainties in our life. And we should move to the third stage, which is money at work. We cannot work for the rest of our lives. Dapat dumating yung retirement. Sino po sa inyo ang gustong mag-retire ngayon din? Diba? Gusto na natin mag-retire, pagod na pagod na tayo, but we cannot. You know? Majority, kulang pa yung retirement fund. But actually, retirement, diba? they say that retirement is when your real life begins. Bakit? You don't work for anybody else. You control your time. Pero syempre, we could only have a comfortable retirement if we have enough funds. Retirement doesn't mean na wala ka naman lang silbe, di ba? It only means you can enjoy life without worrying about the bills. If you want to work at the age of 60 or 65 or even older than that, there's nothing wrong. If you want to mentor people, you want to share your wisdom, gusto mong magtrabaho. But if you need to work at the age of 60 or 65, it's a different thing. Ibig sabihin, hindi po tayo nakapag-ipon. So you need to save and invest. And that has been with all funds. If you have a lot of questions, you can contact the person who invited you or share to you this video. And you could also email me and contact me through my Facebook. So this has been Sarada Rosanes, your finance MD. Thank you.